Hello Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, I do apologise when the camera gets a bit shaky. It's uh, literally the tripod has got one leg over the, the desk and I'm having to hold on to it. The, the tank takes a fair bit of room up and uh, um, when I did the very final video which I said <laughs> this was going to be uh, um, I'll, I'll push everything back and try and get it looking a bit better than this. Uh, obviously a, a lot of the the colouring as well is going to be uh, absorbed by the lights I've got over over the tank so uh, you're not going to see everything uh, but I was just really having so much fun with this I just thought oh, I'm going to stick another video up it wouldn't be Gav if we didn't have two or three a week uh, this is the Merkava Mark 1 it's obviously 1 in 35 scale uh, from Tamiya it's a fairly old kit or a very old kit really I suppose uh, in fact, it's still got the, the compartments and that to put a motor in if you wanted to, so it shows it's one of Tamiya's older versions. Uh, I've uh, the, there's, there's bits and pieces I've done and uh, bits I've got to catch up on. The I've gone over it with oils. Let me just see if I've got uh, my little painty stick. Let's see if we can get closer first so you might see some of the oil colourings. See the... I've put some like darker greens or lighter greens, just very tonal variations around uh, some of the some of the crevices and you know bits where they might have a tiny bit of shadow in. I've let's go up onto the camera in the sky, as you can see above. We've got some tonal variations there. I've put some tonal variations and some rust effects in the basket at the back, although this will have some stowage in so you probably won't see a lot of that, but uh, it's got to be done. Um, the turret itself hasn't got any pigments on at the moment. Uh, it has been weathered. Some of the bright scratches I've put on, they were done deliberately because I'm going to actually tone them down in the centre with some, some uh, darker diluted paint that I'll brush in, so uh, they won't be as bright as that when I, I come to say so the project's finished. I've uh, I got a bit carried away yesterday. I, I, I was supposed to last night. I thought, right, I'll uh, I'll put the the decals on, and uh, you know, then the next day, as in today, I'll be able to do the pigments. And I've got some of. Uh, don't know if it's sharp on the camera or not. Here we go. That's Syrian uh, pigment uh, from Mig. I uh, I thought, right, I'll do that. Uh, I'll put the decals on and then obviously this morning I can start playing around with the pigments. Well of course I just thought, oh I'll just see what they look like, I've never used pigments before. And of course I ended up doing the the, the hull of the tank, which was great until I realised, ah I've got to put pigments on, I've got to put decals on top of some of this stuff. So uh, yeah, you've got bright shiny decals uh, at the moment. Uh, I put the white decals on the, on the barrel rather than trying to spray them, I didn't feel confident enough to do that. Uh, this trap here, which I, I, well, I presume it's a trap to stop uh, to deflect rounds going up into the uh, viewing port. There, um, again, I've put uh, some oil in there and uh, oil washes in there, and and then put in some uh, enamel washes as well. Uh, again, things like that turret hatch. It looks a bit bright at the moment, but I'm hoping to tone that down a bit. So all the, the there isn't a lot of decals on these, but they're obviously bright at the moment because I've now we know what happened with the starfighter. The minute I touched any deckled area, they all came off my hands. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they've all got to be done. I've put somewhere I think that uh, dirt over over the the weeks or whatever it's been in the field has collected around any areas that would trap it. I've still got to put uh, pigment effects on, where are we, on the uh, the so-called rubber work. They're not very good, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, there's no, the, they look more like just the, the plastic it is, it's painted grey really, uh, or black, or off, off, off. start again. <laughs> the rubber I've painted rather than jet black, I've painted it's uh, panzer grey uh, with a bit of black in it, but it, it just looks, it doesn't look like the rubber that some of the more modern kits would give you. Um, that's just how it is, you know, I can't do much about it. As I said, I was never going to 
start um, start doing you know any type of of extra work on this vehicle. It was just a learning process. I love Israeli vehicles um, and the IDF, and uh, I wanted to. I, I've got a plan to to over the next couple of years, you know, build a collection of IDF vehicles. The uh, the Jim Peas, the general purpose machine guns, I'm calling them Jim Peas anyway. Uh, they've got to be, I'm, I'm going to put some graphite over them as well. Uh, I just didn't want to get it all plastered in graphite when I was, because you know what's going to happen, it's going to get on my fingers and all the rest of it. And So there'll be a bit of graphite on any of the metal areas in black. So these uh, track links and the, the mortar at the side there. Uh, and then obviously I've done nothing yet to the base of the tank, so all the tracks have got to be mucked up and, and graphited and that, uh, and the wheels. It's just that I didn't want to hold those and then go and touch other parts of the tank and, and end up, you know, with, uh, with, with stuff everywhere. So I'll be able graphite, you know, fingerprints everywhere. So um, the only other thing I've got to do as well, on the back here, there's a cable that runs around the outside. I've done that separately um, because it would just get in the way with the painting. And I'm not undecided whether to use it yet. Uh, I've managed to get it to conform round, but I am wondering whether whether I actually uh, put some some make it up with copper wire, uh, as it would as, as that's a bit more malleable. Um, well, I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't have to put it on just yet, so I'll, I'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But yeah, I just wanted to show it off. You know, as I say, it's. Um, I finally built a tank after 30 odd years of, you know, it's the last time I ever built one and first time I've ever properly used my airbrush where it's actually worked. So I'm also going to be, uh, um, this is where it could all go horribly wrong, I'm going to put like a, a buff spray of some description just to show some dust further up the tank. Uh, I suppose I have to put that on a low low pressure on the, on the airbrush. Uh, as I say, I'm not under convinced about these these decals on the barrel I know people uh, paint them on and you can obviously they often have an Israelis often have an aiming stripe I take it down the, the top of the barrel but there's lots with either no white marks at all where they're just a plain one some have the black end and some have the white stripe going straight down the uh, right straight down the top of the barrel I've left the I've followed the instructions and just put these decals on the one went down brilliantly the other one I I don't think you can really see, but it's a bit off. That's the one on the right. Um, so, yeah, it's a, you know, it's a learning curve. I just didn't have the courage to mask it off, you know, and and spray it up. I just thought everything's going so well. I mean, in in hindsight, uh, I could have done the barrels complete, painted the barrels separately, probably, and uh, painted it maybe white first, and then uh, and then masked it up, then painted it green. Oh, I don't know. As I say, I'm a bit. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not not very good at these type of things yet, so it's uh, it's all a learning curve. Um, and I've actually getting uh, Mig's one of Mig's uh, solution books. I'm um, painting idea vehicles for Christmas or my birthday. It's my birthday's not f that far after Christmas. Um, I can legitimately order <laughs> order something, so I've got that coming in the new year. So guys, thanks for this uh, impromptu video. Thanks for popping along and taking a look. Uh, as I say, there's still a few bits to go on her yet, and the ne the last one will you know the next video will be the last one. It was just <laughs> can't help getting excited over sticking a model kit together. <laughs> it's got to show a video off of it. So this is my Tamiya one in thirty five scale uh, Merkava Mark One. So we're talking. Uh, 19, I, th I think the, the very late 70s they were brought in into service uh, and I wanted to, this one to be uh, Operation Peace of Galilee uh, invading Lebanon in 82 um, so uh, there's a few bits got to go on it yet uh, and in you know bits of mud and stuff so uh, and as I say I need to pop the stowage on the back and get that cable round and put the antenna on for the radios so guys, take care of yourselves and we will catch each other probably on one more video uh, just before Christmas or during the Christmas period. Cheers.